Hello, today we are going to discuss our next unit that is IoT design methodology. So, in this unit, we are going to discuss about the IoT design methodology that includes purpose and requirement specification, process specification, domain model specification, information model specification, service specification, IoT level specification functional view specification, operational view specification, device and component integration and finally the application development. This is mean that these are the steps in IoT design methodology or IoT system design. Okay, So this is the flow chart of the IoT design methodology. So let's see the first step that is purpose and requirement specification. So in this step, <coughs> the system purpose, behavior and requirements are given. That means the actual purpose of the system, then its behavior and the overall requirement for the particular system. Okay. So in this, we perform the various steps such as the data collection requirements, data analysis requirements, system management and data privacy security requirements are captured in this step. So second step is process specification. In this, the actual process flow or process workflow of the system is highlighted. So for the, our first step and second step and further steps that is uh, whatever the steps we just saw in our outline. So for these steps we are going to take the example of the home automation system. Okay. So let's see for the first step and second step the example of home automation system. So in this we are taking what? example of smart home automation system. So what is the purpose in this system? A home automation system that allows controlling of the lights in home remotely using web application. Okay, This is the purpose and what is the behavior? The home automation system should have auto and manual mode. In auto mode, the system measures the light level in the room whereas in the manual mode the system provides the option of manually and remotely switching on and off of the light. Next is system management requirement. The system should provide remote monitoring and control function. Next data analysis. How the data analysis will be done? The system should perform local analysis of the data. Then application deployment requirement. The application should be deployed locally on the device but should be accessible remotely and last one is that is security requirement the system should have basic user authentication capability so <clears throat> as we have discussed about the first step second step is process specification now we already discussed about what purpose and requirements of the system and in this step how these requirements will work that is process specification or process flow specification so this is our system and uh, we are treating the two modes that is auto mode and manual mode in the auto mode we are treating the light level okay so if the light level is low then the light will be automatically switched on and if the light level is high that then the light will be automatically switched off light level means light level in the room okay and in the case of the manual manual mode we are treating the state of the system if user setting the state as on then the system will also state uh, as on okay and if the user will state the system state of the system as off then the system also treat the same state that is off state thank you